Quel dîner rouge Welcome to all our viewers. I am Dr. Adhikant Sahu Sarjan, working as Senior Registrar, Registrar Department General and Apostle Surgery, Apollo Hospital, Bhubaneswar, the moderator of this screen for the Facebook live session today on advantages of laparoscopy in treatment of appendicitis. At present, appendicectomy for appendicitis continues to be one of the commonest emergency procedure in general surgery, either it is open or laparoscopic. The introduction of minimally invasive surgery in the last three decades has drastically changed the scenario of the surgical field in which the surgeons now have started treating the patients. Interestingly, anatomical information is now presented as a radiographic or video images to the surgeons who now operate seeing the monitors only. Today, we are having with us Dr. Tanmay Ponda. Senior Consultant General and Laparoscopy Surgery, Apollo Hospital, Bhubaneswar, who is one of the eminent laparoscopy surgeons in the state of Odisha. Dr. Ponda is going to answer a few questions frequently coming to the minds of her viewers on appendicitis and the advantage of laparoscopy in treatment of appendicitis. Welcome, Dr. Ponda, to the Facebook live session today. Thank you, Dr. Sahu. Sir, giving a brief in, uh, uh, introduction. Sir, we know the abdomen is a magic box with many vital organs with different ph physiological functions. Will you please tell the viewers so what is appendix and what do you mean by the appendicitis? Appendix, uh, appendix is a blind tubular structure that is uh, attached to the base of the cecum. Base of the cecum uh, where the tenia colis converge. Cecum is the starting of the large intestine and uh, where the small intestine also ends. As you can see in the picture, the ap appendix lies here and uh, with this the small intestine ends and the large intestine starts. Appendix inflammations is the infection in the appendix that is known as appendicitis. And this is what is the position of the appendix you can see in the picture. How common is the incidence of acute appendicitis in the population and which age group it is mostly seen? Appendicitis is very common surgical emergency is one of the most common surgical operation worldwide. And uh, it is one of the commonest emergency surgical operation the incidence of appendicitis is 86 per 1 lakh population per year and uh, the 6 to 8 percent of the population during their lifetime had a risk of appendicitis. The age group what you asked is that all age groups are susceptible to have appendicitis starting from adolescent, adult and uh, old age. But the most vulnerable group is usually the adolescent and early adults. The 10 to 30 years is the susceptible age for appendicitis. The incidence is more in males than females above uh, uh, below 25 years of age and above 25 years of age the incidence is same in male and female. Will you please tell uh, how the patients with the appendicitis present and uh, how to proceed to confirm the diagnosis? The patient of appendicitis usually presents to the emergency with severe pain abdomen and uh, the pain usually starts around the umbilicus that shifts to the right side lower abdomen. It is usually associated with nausea, vomiting, sometimes fever and also associated with loss of appetite. The patients on examination, there is severe tenderness and guarding rigidity in the right lower side of the abdomen. If we found this 
sign in the patient then we suspect the appendicitis and we give the patient nil per mouth start IV fluids and start antibiotics. We definitely do some investigations to confirm our diagnosis. Standard investigations are usually blood investigation and radiological investigations. Blood investigations are blood count which shows increased WBC counts and with increased neutrophil while the ultrasound abdomen usually shows non-peristalitic, tender, com non-compressible tubular structure in the right lower side of the abdomen which is greater than 7 mm diameter. So if we or radiologist find these signs then the appendicitis is confirmed. In ultrasound abdomen is 90% confirmatory in diagnosis of appendicitis but in some cases it is non-confirmatory then we advise for the CT scan of abdomen and also in some condition where we suspect some other pathology then we also advise CT scan of abdomen to confirm our diagnosis. Will you please tell doctor what is the cause of the appendicitis? The cause of the appendicitis is the obstruction of the lumen of the appendix. As I have previously told the appendix is a blind and a tubular structure. If the tubular structure lumen is blocked by either hard stool that is known as fecolith or any inflamed lymph nodes the, then, uh, or uh, ly lymphatic follicles then there is obstruction to the lumen. The secretions of uh, appendix secretions of the appendicular uh, mucus remains inside the appendix and the distension happens that causes pain that causes inflammation you can see in this picture that is appendix is uh, appendix is uh, attached to the cecum if the lumen of the cecum uh, appendix is obstructed at the junction with the fecolith the appendix is inflamed and swollen that is that is known as appendicitis according to the different position most common position is the retrocecal appendicitis and uh, pelvic appendicitis is the next most common and other positions are there that according to that the symptoms vary in person to person. After diagnosis of the acute appendicitis, what is the mode of treatment in such cases and the latest surgical methods for removal of the appendix? The standard treatment is a surgical treatment. The surgical treatment is the appendicectomy that is the removal of appendix uh, and uh, the, the procedure involves uh, either laparoscopically or uh, open surgical procedure. So the earlier the surgery is done, the prognosis is better. If you delay the surgery, then there is chance of increased mortality and morbidity. Sir, do you find any advantages of laparoscopic approach over the traditional or open surgical approach? No, the, the, the laparoscopy, the surgical approach is usually two types. One is the laparoscopic approach and the open surgical approach. The laparoscopic approach is the latest approach. In open surgical approach, we usually give a incision over the right lower side of the body. We cut through the muscle layer, go deep into it, identify the appendix, remove the appendix through the wound and uh, we tie the blood circulation and uh, the base of the appendix that is connected to the cecum usually tied with ligatures and the appendix is cut and removed. Then we uh, stitch the wound with the muscle layer and skin layer and the patient recovers after that. That is the standard open, open operation. In laparoscopic operation we usually give three cuts one at the umbilicus and two in the lower part of the abdomen to gain access into the abdomen. The cut, cut is usually very small as you can see the appendix is here we give two, three, two lower abdominal cut and one cut at the umbilicus. Through the umbilicus cut the camera port is inserted and uh, the uh, gas is insufflated, carbon dioxide gas is insufflated, the abdomen is distended so that visualization is better. With the telescope and camera, we can see the inside picture through a monitor that is situated on the outside of the operation theatre. Without 
opening the abdomen that is known as laparoscopy the usually the monitor is on a trolley and we can see through with the help of camera and telescope uh, with which which a camera assistant uses holes and the surgeon with the two other ports puts long instrument into the abdomen and to, to help in the operation and do the dissection so uh, i can show you picture in which a camera picture is there this is the camera picture you can see that we are holding the appendix with one forceps and with a harmonic scalpel that is a bloodless uh, scissor like thing we cut the blood supply of the appendix as we go proceeds the blood cut the blood supply of the appendix we see that the blood supply is totally cut and the appendix is free and we only attach to the cecum with the, at the base so as as we proceed from the operation then we usually tie the base of the appendix and uh, after tying we cut the base of the appendix and we remove the appendix through one of the holes so after we remove the appendix we stitch the holes with sutures and that is a very small scars that are present that is uh, practically very minimal in comparison to the open surgical method and secondly the patient usually recovers very faster 6 to after 6 to 8 hours patient moves goes to the toilets and the next day he takes foods and if he feels comfortable he is discharged in a day so laparoscopic approach is very comfortable patient recovery is very faster the pain is very less and also the uh, advantage of laparoscopy is that we can see whole of the abdomen inside other pathologies can be seen any gynecological pathology in females can be diagnosed any gi other gi conditions can be seen so these are the things what we can have the laparoscopically uh, benefited other even benefits is that there is there is less pain more cosmesis early recovery patient can join the work get earlier discharge from the hospital the wound infection in laparoscopy is much lesser than the open surgical method and uh, the pain as by shown by many randomized control studies that is much less in laparoscopy surgery than the open surgical method and these patients who, who are operated laparoscopic appendectomy require less pain killers than the open surgical method these are the advantages in which the keyhole surgery or minimal ss surgery has many advantages over the open surgical method which we have we are doing traditionally now in apollo hospital bhubaneswar we are doing this state of art advanced laparoscopic uh, operations and in uh, many patients have benefited from this advanced laparoscopic procedures thank you doctor uh, doctor in our practice we have seen usually the patient sometimes comes late to this surgeons after receiving local native treatment at home or already obtained the treatment from general practitioners but do you get same symptoms and signs as the fresh cases or different for the delayed presentation and their complications no what the patients come usually the many patients come later on and uh, they after three four days the patient presents the uh, appendicular uh, lump formation happens appendicular lump is that adhesion around the appendix with omentum bowels attached to the Uh, appendix and this uh, appendicular lump formation that causes lo- uh, inflammation uh, uh, subside mechanism that is because of the body tries to contain the inflammation and this inflammation content is known as the appendicular lump and the gradually the um, uh, with conservative treatment sometimes the patient improves with iv fluid antibiotics the patient improves and re- recovers if it recovers then we advise for the interval appendectomy if the patient does not in, uh, recover then we go for operation appendectomy that is either laparoscopy or open but patient requires accordingly patient can have a localized collection abscess formation that may require ultrasound guided drainage 
or may be required laparoscopic drainage as the condition requires. Sometimes patient presents with perforation, gangrene and this, uh, this condition causes peritonitis, septis, sepsis and shock. That, that happens, the patient can require ICU admission and emergency, of, uh, urgent emergency surgical treatment and sometimes the patient uh, recovers but the uh, morbid, morbidity is more in all this patient even though patient is get operated. So these are the complications that can happen and patient can delay uh, the delay presentation of the patient complicates the matter. Uh, doctor, you must have a lot of experience in your surgical practice. Do you have any experience in which complicated appendicitis was managed by laparoscopically? Complicated appendicitis, I can remember one 18 year old female uh, studying outside Odisha in some uh, universities. She had a pain abdomen and she came to uh, Odisha with a delay of 3 for 4 days. By the time she was admitted to the hospital, she had lower abdominal pain and that is spray, uh, that is whole of the lower abdominal pain was pain uh, more and tenderness was more. We diagnosed a perforated appendix which was operated uh, urgently with laparoscopic method with the peritoneal toileting was done. Patient recovered well and in 3-4 days patient discharged with a happy memory. Thank you doctor. And doctor, do you uh, go for laparoscopy surgery in all cases those are coming to you for appendicitis, history of appendicitis or there is any absolute contraindication and indications? The absolute contraindication as you have uh, uh, asked for is that patient is unfit for general anesthesia in cardiac and some respiratory problems and some other uh, uh, issues in which the general anesthesia cannot be given and usually the uh, relative contraindications are peritonitis, sepsis, in which the patient's general condition is very low and uh, patients in some centers there is some uh, uh, inexperience of the patients that is also there. So these are the things that is usually contraindication for laparoscopy surgery. In most of the center, advanced centers, the laparoscopy method has been adopted very well and that is been done. Okay, thank you, doctor. Now, after a hearing from Dr. Ponda, the patient having pain around the umbilicus and the right side of lower abdomen pain, mild fever or nausea or vomiting, usually we will advise that the patient should contact the well experienced surgeons for either laparoscopic or open surgery before it becomes too late and becomes life threatening. Sooner the better. Thank you, Dr. Ponda, for sharing your valuable experiences with your viewers which will be a great help to take care of the pain abdomen. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pandey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.